Hi everybody, Claudette Eaton again, and this is video two of my new series, Claudette's Greeting Cards. Um, I wanted to explain a few things before we get painting. Uh, I wanted to explain that I am self-taught. Uh, I did this so oh, almost 20 years ago, and I taught myself to paint. And through the years, as I got more and more experience, I found ways to avoid from making mistakes. And because I have no formal training, um, that was important to me. So a lot of things are done in layers, in a lot of layers, because I am trying to avoid mistakes along the way and having to start over uh, because the colors weren't right or the uh, drawing was bad or the composition was bad. So that's a lot of why I do what I do. And, and it's by no means a, a way, the only way you can do it if you're self-taught. There are many other ways, but this is my way. And that's what I'm trying to show people is that being self-taught, um, uh, sure, I read books, um, I watched videos, but I adopted what worked for me. And this is what worked for me, but by no means does that mean it's good for everybody and that's how everyone should do it. It is for me. I'm offering it to the viewers as a um, possible method that they could draw and learn to draw if they wanted to. Um, I have finished this, um, the pre, uh, pre, uh, pre-drawing or pre-painting on this uh, fall uh, painting and I put a couple layers of matte acrylic uh, on it the other day and sealed it uh, well, and so now it's ready to receive the oils. If I didn't do that because the oils are water-based um, the acrylic would mesh and meld in with the acrylics and then none of them would dry and it would really leave a mushy mess. So that's been sealed. <clears throat> so I'm ready and we're going to start today by working on our chipmunk. And that's going to be close work. And again, this is to avoid making mistakes. I'm working on the subject of the piece, which is the squirrel. And I'm doing that because if he's not right, or she's not right, um, then the whole thing won't work. So if you start from the background, you get the flower right, you get the sky, you do the pumpkin, and then you get to the chipmunk and you mess up the chipmunk, you have to start the whole thing over again. So I've learned over the years that the important part you do first. And if that uh, turns out right, then the rest is just gravy as far as I'm concerned. So that's what I will be doing. I will be fast forwarding through this because taking it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time to do the chipmunk's face and ears. That has to be perfect as far as at, on in my opinion and in the way I want it, it has to look good to me. And uh, I will be taking my time with this. It may take uh, up to two videos, I'm not sure. But today's video is on detailing the chipmunk. And I'll talk to you right after.
for today. Um, I hope you saw what I was doing and, and the detailing. I'm still not happy with his nose. And I've always had trouble with ears. Ears are, are, are my nemesis. So uh, hopefully that will work out. But um, we'll probably stick to the uh, red squirrel. It is a red squirrel despite the fact I said it was a chipmunk several times. It is a red squirrel. I do use photo reference. Uh, but photo reference is a two-dimensional uh, plane. And you can only use it for uh, perspective, to make sure the eyes are in the right place, uh, that the mouth is in the right place, that you get, especially in a three-quarter view a profile, uh, that helps a lot as far as getting it in the right, uh, the right uh, turn, and so that you can um, uh, paint it accordingly. Um, uh, photo reference can't bring that painting to life. Only you can do that, or me, only I can do that with the colors that I use for shading and light and uh, the depth that I'll give it through that, the use of color. So um, two-dimensional uh, photo reference is a really great way to at least have a reference there so you can look at it and see, well, his eyes are rather big. That means I have to make this eye, which is in the background, a little bit smaller. But it tells you that without you having to guess and erase and guess. So I, I love to use photo reference uh, because it's faster and it gives you a, a leg up on your painting. Um, I used three brushes in, in, this, uh, in this beginning of the detailing. It, three small brushes. Uh, one I used just for white and one I used just for black as you can never get those colors out of a brush easily. And I used a third brush for the other colors, which were, uh, I will list them at the end of this video, uh, were the um, yellow ochre and yellow. Uh, that Those I used just another brush and I had a, uh, a cleaning, a water well uh, to clean my brushes between use. I also made sure they had a point that you have to make sure you, you push the the ends of, of those uh, brushes uh, so that they keep a point because they won't. Once you start rinsing, um, all of the lanolin that's in there that keeps it together will start pulling apart. So you've got to um, physically go in there and keep those brushes together to give you a good point if you need a good point. Um, next time, which will be Monday, uh, August 31st at 5, uh, we'll continue with the detailing on the red squirrel. It'll probably take at least another video for that uh, before we head into uh, the flower in the sky at that point. Um, please like my videos. If you like them, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, go see all of my other videos and on my YouTube channel, Claudette Eaton Arts. I would appreciate that. Um, I think that's all I needed to say. Uh, I'll have the products I used for this video at the end. I think I said that before. Um, have a good weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Stay well. Goodbye. Thank you. These are the products I used for this videos in this painting today. And this is the equipment I used to film it. I use a GoPro, got all those umbrellas, takes a while. I even have my, my uh, cheat sheet. The, don't forget to go to Amazon.com, Handmade Eaton Arts, and look at my greeting cards. I'd appreciate it. Have a good weekend.